Hey everybody, welcome back to IEA Aquaponics. Um, I'm actually in my dry garden here. I wanted to show you a couple things. Um, this first plant over here is a little asparagus that we put in. Won't produce for a while. They, they take a long time to get thick here in Hawaii as far as the base. We have two different kinds of basil. On the left is your traditional basil and then there's a Thai basil here. You can tell that one with the purple stem and then there's a little mint in the corner there. Um, these I, I trim out. All of these plants were started in the aquaponic system and then trans, transferred here. Uh, but this is what I wanted to show you. Today we did some kale. This is my purple kale plant. This plant was started in the aquaponic system until it was about a foot tall, maybe a foot and a half tall, and I felt that it couldn't handle anymore. It is currently around four feet tall right now. So as you can see, it's fairly large. I've pulled some stems off of there. And between the purple, which you see there in the lower right side of the camera, and the green kale, the curly kale, we've got a nice, um, I don't know, maybe about a pound and a half, two pounds of kale. Now I'll go down to the aquaponics and show you where that green kale came from. Um, this kale came from only three plants total. This purple kale plant is the purple ones, and then the green kale came from two fairly full-grown plants. Okay, we're back. This time we're down here in the system, and you can see the two plants that I picked the green kale from. This is a very healthy plant, but it's only about a foot long, a foot and a half. And this, this one here had the most plants on it. As you can see, that big ball at the end there. You know, there was a pretty healthy-looking kale on there. Um, we do have some white flies, so the best thing to do there, I find, rather than trying to use pesticides, is just spray the underside of the leaves with water to wash off all of the larvae and eggs and things occasionally. I seem to keep them down. The other thing I do is I use a, a little fly sticky trap there. That seems to be helpful as well. Well, I just thought I'd show you what this kale looks like in the water. I'm cleaning it off. Uh, I like to soak it for a good 15-20 minutes to get all the bugs and things off of it. It is organic after all, and I like to use this um, sink that has the sprayer because I'm able to spray things down before I soak them a little bit there. So it's beautiful, and you can see that purple kale is going to look really nice in the salad itself. should be a pretty tasty salad for our party tomorrow. That's all for now.